rinse it out. Kay Martin uh, makes custom headwear and accessories for mostly endurance athletes. Anyone, she says, who sweats. Her Colorado-based Boco gear has been around for six years now. Business is good for us right now. Uh, we're growing. We've been growing. But tariffs have been a distraction. And I would say that's what it's been. It's been a big distraction. So it's like not reaching. Tariffs have been a challenge for Oberalp North America, which makes ski and outdoor gear. It's been such a, a wild ride over the last 18 months. America's outdoor industry wasn't hit initially when the U.S.-China trade war began, but has experienced several rounds of tariffs over the past 15 months, which have made a variety of Chinese-made recreational goods up to 25 percent more expensive to import, says Oberalp's Drew Saunders. It puts a dampening impact on the business in terms of our ability to grow, our ability to reinvest, our ability to hire. We were able to eat some of that tariff. Our, we pushed back down our factory, but we also did push some of the prices up on our consumers, which made us really nervous about being competitive in the marketplace. Now comes the phase one trade deal between the U.S. and China, which arrives a month after tariffs on one batch of outdoor products were cut in half and tariffs on another batch were rescinded. Look, I mean, they're making progress and they're talking. Um, and so anytime you see a, a reduction of tariffs, it's welcome news. But the new deal doesn't directly help Rich Harper's Outdoor Industry Association members. He'd like to see more. I think our message to the administration is now let's get to work on the phase two deal so that all punitive tariffs uh, can be lifted immediately. The trade war has created a cloud of uncertainty around many companies in this space in terms of future business decisions, pricing, even the impact on consumers. I'm not convinced that the, 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 the end consumer has a perfectly clear understanding of what's happened. It's time, many in the industry say, to get back to innovation and getting people outdoors, their core mission. Martin is tired of sweating over tariffs. We're eating at profits and we're doing things that are really detrimental to the future and growth of our business. While the phase one deal is a step in the right direction, she says. Yeah, I'm a team player, so I'm trying to be happy about it. A larger, more conclusive deal is what she and many who sell the outdoors are after. We'll believe it when we see it uh, is sort of the approach, or let's wait and see maybe is a better way to phrase that. Hedrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.